Hello, this is Brad Williamson. In this quick short tutorial on building box plots in the online graphing package called Plotly. And um, I'm involved in a discussion on the AP Biology Forum right now that's looking at how to handle data. And one of the, and we're looking at data that was generated by the floating leaf disk assay, which is one of the techniques used in one of the AP Biology recommended labs. And we're going to look at the question uh, is float time of these disks consistent between different leaves from perhaps the same plant. So I've collected, you can see there's a lot of disks in here. We're going to, we've collected data from four different leaves and we've got it in a spreadsheet. Here's the spreadsheet. Here's the data that was collected. This is the data that actually is uh, converted into total time for each disk to float. Now I'm just going to copy this data. I'm going to so I've got that copied. I'm now going to move over to my browser and Plotly, which is plot.ly. will take you there and you have to set up your own account. I'm going to put my cursor right here and simply use the command C for, uh, excuse me, command V um, to paste that data in place. I use the keyboard sh shortcut to do that. This is set to box plot. I could set other types of graphs right now, but we'll do the box plot obviously. Whoops. Let's go back to that. And we're going to select all the columns and we're just tell it to plot. And this is how quick and easy it is. We can quickly name these um, axes. Float time in seconds. And we can put a quick title on it. Floating leaf, leaf disk assay different leaves. Not a very creative title, but it'll get us started. And you can see we can roll over and get these uh, quartiles and medians, and that's exactly what we're do for this particular lab. Sometimes the median is important, and we can take a look, and uh, you can see these two leaves actually are real similar, and, and these two leaves were too similar, but this group is different than this group, apparently. At least that's what these plots look like, and it's pretty quick to be able to tell that. Um, Interestingly about Plotly, we can also do more than that. So if I tell it that I want to do this for all these boxes at once, I can do things like, let's get rid of the legend. We don't really need that because it says leaf 1, 2, 3, 4 at the bottom. We can also add some other things. So I can show all the points. And now I've got right next to the plot, I've actually got the data points, which is really cool. Now remember, this is showing median, so I can actually show the mean along with that, which is a, now a dotted line, and the standard deviation, which shows you the standard deviation. So now I've got means, standard deviations, quartiles, and medians in this thing, and it works out really nice. And um, Just get rid of that. And to share this graph, I can do a number of things, but the quick thing is to just download it as a PNG file, and it's ready to I've got it now on my desktop and I'm ready to put it into a publication. That's it for now.